two men who scraped the bottom of the barrel when it came to human decency have been jailed for combined 14 years after they targeted an NHS worker by using their car to try and K him. This was an attempted murder. 22-year-old Patrick James, who is from Avonmouth, and 26-year-old Philip Adams, who is from Southmead, shared a shared interest in trying to K people due to their colour. On July 22nd of 2020, 21-year-old Katunga T.G. Tendro, who worked for the NHS, was walking home from Southmead Hospital, Bristol, where he worked along with his mum, walking along the pavement on Monks Parks Avenue when a car ploughed into him from behind. He had no chance to react. This happened in broad daylight, 4.30pm, at the height of summer. Katunga was thrown forward and then pinned between the car and the wall and left in a bad, bad way, fractures and broken bones. Katunga originally thought that this was an accident and someone may have lost control of their car or suffered a medical episode, but while pinned, Patrick and Philip exited the crumpled car, shouted the N-word at him and then ran away laughing as if this was a job well done. Worried members of the public rushed to help Katunga and gave him first aid until emergency services arrived. Katunga was rushed to hospital where he required emergency care. The 21-year-old was left with a broken nose, fractured right leg, deep, deep lacerations to both legs and deep facial wounds to his face that have left permanent scars. Now police investigated the incident and they found CCTV that put James and Patrick at the scene of the crime. James had purchased a blue Honda Accord a few weeks before he mowed down Katunga. Now police also found Philip Adams' DNA on the airbag that had been deployed on impact. When arrested by police, Philip already had an excuse. He says that his DNA may have been on the vehicle because he had been in the car previously. And when Patrick James was arrested, he denied that he was responsible for the attempted M. Philip Adams also denied any responsibility. Both men were subsequently bailed. Now furthermore, when Patrick James's mobile phone was confiscated by police, police found video footage filmed inside his car and it showed him driving up on the pavement and plowing into a different person, a cyclist, Julian Ford, who was launched off his bike. Patrick James was heard laughing before speeding away without stopping. For some reason, Julian Ford did not report the incident. Now these videos were like souvenirs to both Philip and Patrick. When the case went to court, both men did not have a charge of attempted M, but instead had a charge for conspiracy to cause intentional GBH. Patrick James was jailed for eight and a half years, and Philip Adams, who fled the UK during bail and instead has decided to hide out in Dubai, was sentenced in his absence to six years. Philip Adams is now a wanted man, and the National Crime Agency are working on a case to get him back to the UK and into a jail cell. Does the crime match the sentence? Let me know. Stay safe. Safe.